up NZers? Hi. Hi! And welcome back to yet another reaction video. This time we're going to start, we're thinking of starting a little mini series. Mm. So we're thinking, out, uh, we're thinking of checking out some boot camps and up first we've got the Marine Corps. Then we've also got the US Army, mm -hmm. the US Air Force, the yeah. Navy SEALs, yeah. the Coast Guard. Yeah. Did I say the Air Force? No. No? Yeah. Do yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, I did? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, let us know if there's anything else that we should... Oh, the Coast Guard. Why well, did I already say that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think you guys get the point. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let us know uh, uh, anything that I haven't mentioned and we'll definitely check it out. But this one is the Marine Corps. So who knows? I mean... I so know. basically this is their training. Yeah, yeah. That? What they have to do to, to pass um, and then become, you know, like a Marine. Yeah. And they get to join the Marines. So this is the process that they have to go through and you know it's pretty grueling yeah. i know but like do you know what i always notice with like soldiers and stuff or whatever they're always super serious and i always think do they ever get to like laugh or are they always just serious and like marching well, who that's knows? true uh, yeah I, i'm sure uh, like a lot of your loved ones might have gone through this uh, boot camp or even you yourselves might have been through this boot camp yeah let us know down in the comments how much fun are you guys allowed to have yeah <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, let's check it out. Let's go. What new Marine Corps recruits go through in boot camp? Screaming inside a gas mask. Do they want them to lose their voice? Yeah. This is Marine Corps boot camp in Paris Island, South Carolina. Before they become United States Marines, all recruits have to graduate from the Marine Corps' 13-week basic training program, which tests them physically and psychologically. No, I feel sorry for you, Gabe. It's a pressure cooker for 12 weeks. Under the pressure of an intimidating drill instructor, someone that's putting you under the scrutiny of attention to detail every single day, and to a certain degree, everything you do is never going to be good enough. Everything at boot camp sucks. It's gonna hurt, it's gonna be painful, but it's only gonna hurt more if you look at it that way. Around, around, around! So there's like zero encouragement. It's supposed to prepare you for the challenges that lie beyond. No, no, no. We spent five days at Paris Island, where we saw different companies at various stages of training. You will not run, you will walk. Get on the yellow footprints right now. I said, you will do what you're told to do, what you're told to do it, and without question. Do you understand? Yes, sir! On day one of boot camp, new recruits arrive at the receiving barracks, where they take their first steps toward becoming Marines by walking through these silver hatches, symbolizing the threshold between the outside world and Paris Island. You walk through these silver hatches once and never again, do you understand? Oh, sir! Once inside, recruits are processed and assigned to their platoons. After graduation, Marines commit to a minimum of four years of service. Upon entering the Corps, an entry-level private will earn around $20,000 a year. I guess they'd give it a Recruits are required to make a phone call to a family member or their recruiter to let them know they've arrived. This is Recruit Hatcher. I've arrived safely at Paris Island. Please do not send any food or bulky items on They're only allowed to read the script printed for them inside the phone bank. I will contact you in seven to nine days by letter with my new address. Thank you for your support. Goodbye for now. Recruits are given three chances to get someone on the line. Sir, my recruit's not answering. Sir, call him again. Not every recruit is able to make a connection. If there is no answer, hang it up and close it. All right, sir. But they won't have long to dwell on it. The Marine Corps Recruit Depot in Paris Island sits on 8,000 acres of the South Carolina Low Country. It's one of two enlisted recruit depots in the United States. The other is in San Diego, where only male recruits are trained. 
around 20,000 recruits graduate from Paris Island every year before joining the more than 180,000 Marines actively serving today. We take young men and women from all walks of life, all cultures. Maybe they were rich, maybe they were poor. They've got different religious backgrounds. They are the melting pot of America. And they come here with one common goal, and that's to be a United States Marine. Paris Island, South Carolina. Here, everyday Americans become Marines, the toughest fighting men in the world. Male recruits have been trained at Paris Island since 1915. Female recruits began to train there in 1949. Today, right at the end of World War II. females comprise under 25% of recruits at Paris Island and approximately 8% of the United States Marine Corps, the lowest percentage of any United States military branch. A recruit's day begins before the sun comes up. Their typical wake-up call is 0400, or 4 a.m. Recruits are right an intense series of physical challenges. Some recruits arrive in better shape than others. Some never did anything more than sit on a couch, you know, as a couch potato. And some may have been collegiate athletes. So there's a vast spread of what their athletic fitness and ability is. Awesome. Much of their training happens here, in Leatherneck Square, where a series of intimidating obstacles comprise the confidence course. The training program is progressive in nature. It starts out in a crawl, walk, run approach throughout training. 99.9% .9 of those that get here and complete all those requirements at the end of training, regardless of how they started. Hey, sir, just Slip it, please. Please, help. I don't want to do this. Any recruit with a fear of heights gets the chance to conquer that fear, courtesy of this 47-foot tall tower. Recruits must repel down using two different methods. Atlanta, you have to that that <laughs> hard, I sort of had a fear of heights. Grab a little my right hand with your right hand. You have to trust the rope. So there's nothing to be worried about. Oh, You'll be safe yeah. all the time. Can you please help me? I'm trying to help you. I don't want to go down. Recruits with a phobia of heights have little choice but to face their fear. Boom. It just dropped. Oh, that doesn't look One good. of the most dreaded parts of training is the gas chamber. Crush, 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 crush. Recruits are exposed to CS gas, more commonly known as tear gas. Oh, like what, like the riot police and stuff use? Once the recruits enter the chamber, they break the seals of their gas masks. You go in, you feel it, instantly hit your skin, you just feel burning. Say something to me now! Feels like those few minutes felt like an hour. Around five minutes, the recruits are free. But the pain endures. Definitely, you thank God for fresh air. It's really nice to be able to breathe in and not feel an instant burning that must sensation. Have been so bad. <laughs> The gas chamber is important because it builds confidence. Confidence in the gear, confidence in the drone shutters, and then confidence in themselves. <laughs> Recruits are trained in different styles of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Whoa. First thing we want to see is that straight thrust, you understand? Yes, sir. Bush, bush, come on, sir. Aye, sir. Aspect of their martial arts training is fighting with pugil sticks. Who killed that opponent? You're the ah! The P 
bugle stick techniques are intended to mirror those used in combat while using a bayonet. Here in the Marine Corps, we have a kind of a little ditty that means red is dead. So that red side is supposed to emulate the actual knife portion of the actual bar mounted on the weapon. Finish him. So anything that you strike with that red tip, nine times of ten are either going to be incapacitated or laid to rest. Honestly, it gives them an opportunity to blow off a little steam. <laughs> they have a lot of pent up aggression, especially towards maybe their drill instructors. <laughs> they're out there, they're actually doing what they feel like they signed up to do, which is learn how to combat the enemy. Recruits also practice with actual bayonets. <laughs> and engage in other types of hand to hand combat. Although male and female recruits do intersect during training, platoons are separated by gender. And although the Recruit Depot has experimented with integration before, the Marine Corps is the only military branch that separates male and female recruits during basic training. Yes, sir! According to the Corps, every Marine is first and foremost a rifleman. Recruits spend the bulk of two weeks devoted to marksmanship, the first of which sees few shots actually fired. First off is the fundamentals. They have to understand how to aim. They have to understand exactly how to breathe when they're taking that shot. They have to understand exactly how to squeeze the trigger and how to have follow through and recovery with a rifle. Combat operations is the foundation for every single Marine, regardless of what your occupation is. Go to the rifle, behind the rifle and look down at it, and, and be able to put that on target. Function and how to work at this. I'm going to swim to the The Marine Corps is defined as an amphibious warfare force. Yeah, Marine. Therefore, swimming plays a key role in training. If you see, I'm moving a tune up there. If there's more than five, you're going away. During swim week, recruits go through numerous exercises in the pool while wearing their camouflage uniforms. Brutal. But training at Paris Island isn't all physical. Recruits also spend long hours in the classroom. But what may seem like downtime can end at any moment. When a drill instructor decides to order an impromptu cardio session at Paris Island, it's what's known as getting slayed. Okay. It's an experience. You realize the thing you do to get in a sand pit, and then you realize, okay, that hurt, so let's not do that again. Physically, it hurts, but me personally, I never worried about the pain I was feeling in my body. It was more thinking about the mistake I made and how I need to correct it the next time. So there's going to be some chaos because when they come here, we want to tear them down a little bit. And we want to bring them back up into in the mold of what it is to be a United States Marine. Recruit training culminates in an event known as the Crucible. Over the course of 54 hours, with minimal sleep and food, recruits must endure realistic combat scenarios. The sounds of gunfire and shelling are played over loudspeakers mounted in the training area. Recruits are forced to work together to overcome obstacles and achieve objectives that require problem solving and strategy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is what we saw on the second day. The recruits had become exhausted and irritable. Catch us ready! Ready! Jump it! Jump away! Falling down! I said! Oh, shit! I said! 
you know, you go through a really rough time. Well, that'll be brutal. Crawling some You start thinking, man, like, yeah. it's hot, I'm thirsty, my arms haven't felt this bad in my whole life. We're halfway there, come on. You just keep looking at the person to the left and right, and you're like, well, he's doing it. I gotta keep going. Uh, like, I'm not gonna let him do it on his own. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So there's no reason not to push. Once the crucible is complete, these recruits officially become Marines. The day before graduation, friends and family see their new Marines for the first time in more than three months. Well, it would be pretty emotional, eh? graduation day. They haven't seen their son or daughter in about three months. Immediately notice not only a physical but an intangible difference. When they walk across that bridge yeah. on train day 70 and they graduate, they're no longer recruits, they're Marines. They've just got quite a stoic look on their face. Yeah. Meanwhile, in the barracks of Lima Company. I'm talking to you. Arthur. All these rules right here. Arthur. All that trash out. Arthur. Brand new recruits diligently square away their racks before being warmly welcomed by their senior drill instructor. Sit up straight and look at me. Our mission is to train each one of you to become a United States Marine. Discipline and spirit are the hallmarks of a Marine. We will give every effort to train you, even if the son of you has given up on yourself. Starting now, you will treat me and all other Marines with the highest respect. Physical or verbal abuse by any Marine or recruit will not be tolerated. My drill sergeant and I will be with you every day. Everywhere you go, you must give 100% of yourself at all times. Above all else, never quit or give up. We offer you the challenge of a crew quit and the opportunity to earn the title. United States Marine. Yes! Wow. Do you think you guys could go through that? Not really, no. no. Oh, man. <laughs> it's quite tough, eh? Mm. Whew. The mental game. Yeah. Ooh. Are yeah. you allowed to like quit at any point? Uh, I think he just said you're not allowed to give up. So you're not allowed to quit? I don't know. You're not allowed yeah. to be like, oh, whoa, oh, hold on. I yeah. didn't realize it yeah. was going to be like this. Yeah, well, like, after yeah. you become a Marine, can you not do anything? You, no, you, you commit to four years. Yeah, you commit to four the, years. In the Marine Corps. And I think it's actually a crime if you uh, are a deserter. If you're in battle or if you're uh, uh, actually, I think if you're a Marine or I think in the army and you walk away from your assignment, I think you're deserting your role. What? And it's a crime. Can you be charged? I think so. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about modern day, but I mean, back in the day, you used to be killed. You used to be like taken away and killed for doing that. Wow. For leaving your role as a soldier or like leaving your post or leaving your duties. So it's either you risk getting killed or you just get killed straight away. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That's how it used to be. I don't know about now. Maybe you guys could clear that up for us. But I know that being a deserter, yeah, used to be a crime punishable by either prison time or death. Wow. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it's like in the Marines. I don't think they touched on, on that in this video. So what what entices these people to become Marines? I mean, it, to me, Save it country. looks like mm. torture. Just wanting to defend their country, I guess. Anyway, that, uh, if you like that one, guys, make sure you smash the like button. Comment down below and also follow us on Instagram. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already as well. And chuck the bell on. Yeah. And we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.